Welcome to stage number five of the eighth annual Tour of Hainan. We've got lots of excitement here right now in the south of the island. Whether they're on bicycles or on motorcycles, helmet covered or not, everybody is ready for some action, including the commissaires and the yellow jersey, who is prepared for his fifth day in yellow. Somebody that's been improving day by day has been Boris Shipalevsky from RTS. Let's hear what he has to say today. Yes, my, my feeling day by day, uh, step by step, coming a little bit better. Uh, and there is a good sign for me, so I'm, I'm happy to become uh, on, on a good shape and uh, hopefully to do some more best results. <laughs> Today we're going all the way down to the southernmost tip of the island and we've got three sprints, but more importantly, we've got two climbs today. Only category two, but nevertheless, they're gonna feel bad at in the hot weather. For the first time in this year's race, no wind greeted the riders as they lined up on the starting line. When the gun goes off, everybody immediately jumped out to the fore. That first hour's racing was almost 50 kilometers an hour as they were headed out trying their best to break Belkin dominance. Nobody really seemed to go through it though in the first two hours, but nevertheless, they kept trying. Here we see Ukraine and Le Pont Marcier with Belkin right behind. Still, people continued to drive along the front. Whenever you look at our picture, you can always see green somewhere close and coming out of nowhere, we've got yellow underneath its green, but that's Moreno Hofland taking first and Fabian Schnee taking second with his teammate Thomas Laser taking third. Now, again, local Hainan riders are driving their way off the front, showing off for the locals. Everybody's loving that, but nobody's getting away, that's for sure, except for these two guys. Our first king of the mountain climb was at 57 kilometers into it, and they were flying. Wasn't as bad as yesterday, though. They were still in the small ring today. However, as they continued to drive their way up, the second place king of the mountain rider was not going to be able to take it because wham! Goji Michael from KTM takes first place with Vitaly Boots taking second. Adrian Honkitz also ended up taking third from CCC, and again, the chases were on. They were flying off the front, and this time we had one that stuck. Flores Hosenen from Draypack Cycling out of Australia and Lucas Renacher were out for a good one. Here they are coming across the line for sprint number two, and Flores ends up taking that with Lucas taking second. Lou Ealing ended up taking third out of the peloton. They continued their drive all the way through. It was not getting any cooler as they got in and out of shade all day long. This refreshment was definitely needed. Nice juggling there. Ranocker ended up taking sprint number three over Floris, and then the yellow jersey came across the line later. Hoffland is on fire this tour. Speaking of on fire, it got really hot once they were on their way to the second king of the mountain. Starting up the climb, Hosenen and Ranocker still continued their relentless pursuit of victory. And coming across the line, it was Hosenen taking it again for Draypack. Lucas was right in there though. And now, things got nasty. We got down onto the flats and we're heading our way into the capital and already you've got the green amassing at 200 meters to go. Who's gonna be leading out the boss? Who knows? Well, we're gonna know because here he is coming across the line and yes, again, Teo Boss. Stage win number four in four days. Across the line, it's Boss with Hoffland, the yellow jersey in second, and Boris Shiplevsky in third. Yuri Medlushchenko ended up coming across in fourth. Once again, the Happy Belkins team party. I, I was uh, happy I couldn't sprint today because uh, I was dropped on the last climb, and we were with a big, big group, and I had only one rider with one teammate. And uh, yeah, he had some help to close it to the peloton. And uh, yeah, at the end, uh, I came back just uh, 10k before the finish. And uh, yeah, then I can sprint. Good. So I was lucky. Oh, yeah. yeah. You have good luck this race, huh? Yeah, the, the first climb I felt awesome. I thought, good, uh, finally I find my climbing legs this year. Uh -huh. But the second climb <laughs> was uh, horrible, so. Boss once again on first, but I gotta say, Boris's crystal ball was working really well this morning as he was saying it was going to continue to improve. Look at that, there he is, third place on the podium. Belkin one and two, and right here we have our Asian jersey leader. Here we have Leo Ealing for the second day in a row. Big smooches. 
And again, the birthday boy, Vitaly Boots. He ended up taking his second King of the Mountain jersey on his birthday. Maybe next to kiss is in order. And here we have the points jersey leader, Marino Hoffman. His closet's getting a little full. There he is. The fifth yellow jersey in as many days. The GC down here in sunny Sanya is nearly the same with Hoffland in first, Amorazon in second, but Tio Boss with all of his sprinting capabilities has moved up over his teammate Thomas Laser. We've got more dancing coming up tomorrow as well as more fantastic racing. Sean Nagel from Cycling CN, thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.